We need to recognize, though, that we can be in our own neighborhoods and feel fairly safe. Ter terrorism is not going to occur in your backyard. It will occur <coughs> It will occur at the stadiums, it could occur at the nuclear plant, it could occur at the Disney World, but it's not necessarily going to occur, it's not going to occur in Boca Point. Any other ideas? Luckily we have to, oh sorry, again. And keep your mind clear and your body healthy so that if you do get something, you know, you're sick, you're not going to think that it's already anthrax or something else. So you try to keep yourself healthy. And one thing we have to recognize <coughs> is that even though these events and these incidents were highly visible, they're relatively isolated events. And you have to recognize that we have over 300, almost 300 million people in this country. And in reality, we, we fortunately only lost, although we did lose that many, we lost somewhere between five and 7,000 people. That is a small number compared to 300 million. That doesn't mean that even one is good. It isn't. But we have to recognize the, the difference in those numbers. And we need to be able to protect ourselves. And we need to recognize that we are a strong nation we are strong people, and that we will survive this, <coughs> and we, we can do this together. I'm going to leave this up to Dr. Rappers. Good evening, everyone. Hello. Hello. Uh, good evening, everyone. Uh, it's a pleasure being here with you, John, today, and with everybody here. <coughs> Uh, I'd like to focus my portion of, uh, of uh, today's discussion on some of the concerns that uh, my patients have brought to my attention since September 11. Uh, there's no no um, there's no doubt that the world has changed since September 11, and we need to cope uh, cope with this. Uh, in an attempt to calm fears in the office, I've had uh, lengthy discussions with many of my uh, patients. Uh, I've seen uh, moods of uh, extreme anxiety. Uh, depressed moods and uh, fear. I believe uh, in order for us to, uh, to cope with what has happened, it's very important that we be well informed. I'm going to focus my questions on bioterrorism. Um, I'd like to, of course, focus on uh, what's happened locally and uh, start with anthrax. Anthrax is virtually new to all of us. I remember back in uh, medical school in our textbooks, it was barely even mentioned. It was somewhere in the back of the book because it was so rare. Um, unfortunately, it's now a reality, and it's now uh, being used in bioterrorism. I believe it's important that our physicians across the country um, continue to calm our patients by keeping them uh, knowledgeable about the disease and its prevention. Uh, to update you locally, um, as of October 24th, the CDC only has uh, two uh, confirmed uh, cases of what they call inhalational or inhaled anthrax. Uh, both of